Now that we have our bleed and live area on our three pages, let's make those three pages look like a cover. Show the Pages panel from the window menu, Pages. Yup, that's three facing pages. Two up is the standard spread, but we need three pages in one spread. If we try to drag page one down between page two and three here, InDesign's just going to push page three out of the spread. The result is the same. Open the Pages panel flyout menu. See that checkbox beside Allow Document Pages to Shuffle? That's what's getting in our way. Select that command to disable Allow Document Pages to Shuffle and clear the check mark. Now drag page one down between pages two and three. Ta-da! You now have a three-page spread. That's the back cover on the left. If you've never seen it spelled like that, it's because it's an industry lingo term that I'll explain more in depth in a little while the spine in the center, and the front cover on the right. Now let's make the spine a little narrower. Select the Page tool here, just under the white arrow Direct Selection tool on the Tools panel. Click on the center page. Don't resize yet. Before we can resize, we need to change the Liquid Page rule up here on the Control panel. Almost anything other than Controlled by Master would work in the beginning, but to have it automatically resize and move around objects on the spine page, the best liquid page rule to choose is Scale. Now you can resize the page. While holding down the Option key on your Mac keyboard or Alt key on your Windows keyboard, resize the page by dragging the control corner on the side just like you would any frame with the black arrow. We don't yet know exactly how large the spine must be, so just get it roughly as wide as you think the spine should be. When you let go of the mouse, the pages will snap back together, closing up any gap, and thus keeping the three sides of this cover adjacent. At this point, if you don't yet know the final number of pages in your book, or the weight of the stock on which those interior pages will be printed, you could just leave the spine with as approximate and get to designing. But let's assume you do know the number of pages. Let's also assume that you either already know the paper stock or want to select it now. Let's choose the right paper and then calculate the correct width of the spine right now.